Oh, good evening, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Sort of a bad hair day. Uh, uh, what kind of exercise can we do? Uh, push ups? Yeah. One and push ups. Let's do one and push ups. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Whew. All right. <sighs> Ah. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is some stretching, huh? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. <sighs> yeah, let's take five minutes back, please. <sighs> okay.
last supper. Good evening, everybody. Uh, happy Wednesday, and uh, let's see. Oh, boy. Ah. And okay. Let's start with sake and uh, soju, something light. Yeah, uh, so today's Wednesday, right? Yeah, I started writing another paper. Uh, it's not copy of my logic paper like I uh, originally planned. Uh, it's, it's um, surprisingly, uh, it's mathematics paper. Okay, why? 
I thought you, it's about time I write some mathematics paper, which I have not done yet so far. Okay, in my life. So it's first time. In this human essays, we do a lot of mathematics, right? But I never ever published, wrote a purely mathematics paper yet. So, yeah, it's about time. Uh, started with this this proof of Dirac theta function this morning before I went to work. Okay, I woke up early. So, and then then I went to work and I came back home and wrote some more. I expanded the paper and renamed the paper. Uh, originally, I named it as like this proof of a uh, Dirac theta function, but I renamed it as uh, alpha algebra colon, a theory of infinity. Okay, so Dirac theta function this proof is just chapter one. Uh, it's a kind of intro. Okay, motivation. Not exactly motivation because uh, it's just related, tangentially related topic. Yeah, and I wrote chapter one and chapter two. Chapter two is about uh, introduction, like uh, I mean the the relative number density concept using unit infinity alpha. Alpha is the size of the natural number set. It's infinite number, okay, you need infinity, okay. So chapter two is done, chapter one, disproving a uh, Dirac theta function, did that. Uh, chapter three, yeah, introduction to alpha algebra, so this. What I'm gonna work on tomorrow, Thursday. So far, like today, like this morning and this evening, I wrote like a total of eight pages. Yeah. Right now it's like 9 p.m. Yeah. It was, it was fun. Uh, yeah. It was very productive, man. I just wrote down things that we talked about a long time ago in Human Series. Okay, so. There's really nothing new there. Well, somewhat, some, somewhat, just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's what's going on. Yeah, I'm just, I feel good. I'm in good mood. It's just that I'm uh, low energy after spending hours writing this paper, that's all. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I know what to write because I wrote down all the notes in the in my cell phone cloud storage. What's my cloud storage? Just in my email. <laughs> Save as draft. Okay. Yeah, that's my cloud storage. Okay. Yeah. Just ASCII characters, nothing fancy. <sighs> So Microsoft came a long way. I mean, my, nowadays Microsoft even uh, they allow people who know LaTeX, 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 the by Professor Donald Knuth. I, I know just a little bit of LaTeX, okay, but not too much. I don't use it. Okay. But Microsoft allow people who know LaTeX to use it. It's a basic mathematical markup language, LaTeX, okay? Just like HTML, kind of, okay? Yeah, but I don't use it, okay? I just use their uh, equation writer in the Microsoft Word, which, which is very, very useful and very user-friendly. So Microsoft, they came a long way to allow users to write equa mathematical equations, okay? So 
they did a fantastic job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I do some social media? <laughs> I'm some more harassed, okay? Okay. Typically, I do social media when I smoke outside, but yeah, it's kind of cold out there, so.
Okay, good. So, what did I just write? Yeah, I wrote like a lot of races. I believe in supremacy of all races, like blacks, whites, browns. I learn from them. They were supreme. I love all the appreciate world religions, cultures. Yeah. Hmm? World appreciation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like I just called to say I love you. <laughs> ah, who's that gentleman? Stevie Wonder. Okay, yeah. I just called to say I love you. That kind of message, world message. Because social media, they're from everywhere. Okay, they're like uh, all different countries. Social media. Okay, so yeah, I just called to say I love you. Basically, that's all that message is about. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm sorry about this Tommy hair day, but <sighs> can't look interesting, huh? Yeah, this is good acting prop. Long hair, okay. So, uh, maybe in a couple of weeks I have some haircut, okay? But I cut my own hair though, okay. <laughs> Just go down, stoop down on the bathtub and just cut my hair with scissors. Yeah, maybe in a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm recovering from the fatigue of from writing those mathematics paper, okay. Uh, I mean, in the pa papers in the past that I wrote, yeah, there are a lot of mathematics there, so, but this paper happened to be just purely mathematical, okay. Uh, I'll give you a taste, okay. We take five minutes break, okay? Because I need some brainstorming anyway, okay? For what, what to write tomorrow, okay? So alpha algebra, okay? <laughs> yeah, I give you a test, okay? Yeah, we, we are no stranger to mathematics. It's just that uh, in the past, I wrote papers. They are like human analytical paper, human analytical equation. We do use a lot of mathematics, okay? But this paper is dedicated to pure mathematics. Okay, so, uh, but it's not that different from the past papers I wrote because I use a lot of mathematical equations in those papers in the past. So, okay, so we take five minutes break, please, and then uh, grow a whiteboard, and then uh, we do some alpha algebra. Okay, so. but we are no stranger to mathematics. We've been doing this for years. Okay, in human life series. So, okay, all right. Okay, five minutes. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, let's do this. It's about time. Uh, yeah, yeah, this. We're done with this because this paper, the idealized pa paper is done. It's already published. We can safely erase this. So, let me erase this. Yeah, just like in the individual power equation, yeah, we worked this one out and it's already out there. So, okay, raise it. That's what of, what's good of, so good about publishing a paper because I can safely erase all this because it's done, done and over with. It's already published, right? Yeah. I keep cranking out papers, okay? How about my campaign? I'm taking, I'm kind of taking a break from it, okay? Well, I mean, Friday and I like Honky Lee, social media, that's pretty much what I do for campaigns, so it's, I'm still doing it, in a sense. I'm just not going to places. <laughs> Okay. Come June, yeah, this this candidate forum, yeah, I'll attend that, give my five minute speech. Come July, yeah, July 1st parade. I modified that campaign sign just a little bit. Instead of happy X mass, I was a happy J slash four TH happy July 4th. <laughs> That'd be that, and other than that, nothing else is scheduled, okay, so, maybe some interviews, okay, yeah. But, I've done enough campaigning, okay, so that's why, nowadays, I spend time writing papers, because, uh, I want to be happy, okay. When I was, when I've been campaigning, like, last year, yeah, I was happy, but after a while, yeah, it kind of gets old. Okay, so, yeah, writing these papers, it can be thought as a campaign activity, why? Because I'm publishing it, and voters, if they look up my name, they will see it. Huh? Yeah, and they can tell I have some brain. Candidate with a brain, okay, yeah. Unlike some other candidates, like mainstream ones, like you have Mukorsky, Chibaka, Palin, they got no brains. They just got money and fame and power, that's all they have. They got no brains. Okay. <laughs> See? I, yeah, it's all the campaign. Yeah, I'm still doing campaigning right here, right now. Okay. Then why do voters vote for them? Uh, because they look pretty, okay? Yeah, like, feel good, cap feel good candidates. Voters who vote for those people, like uh, Chibaka, Mukorsky, Palin, they are smart people. They just want to be entertained. And that's why they vote for those bored brain candidates, because they are entertaining, okay? Feel good candidates. I understand. You understand the human allergies, okay? Okay, alpha algebra. Alpha is unit infinity is defined as size of this natural number set. Eh? Okay. Now. Uh, we want to think about limit, okay? Yeah, it's kind of L'Hopital's rule in like calculus or like big O notation in computer science. It's kind of like that, okay? If this is uh, 
go to infinity. We say, fx is far greater than gx, okay? Now, Uh, well, F alpha, okay, G alpha, okay. If this is less than infinity, it means it's some positive number, okay? Okay. Well, assume fx, gx, let's say just they were positive, okay, for the sake of argument, okay, so. Negative side, yeah, don't worry about it, it's symmetric, okay, so. So, that's what I'm going, what I wrote down in my note, and tomorrow I, I need to type this down and uh, explain what all this means, okay. I'm just giving you a taste of this paper, okay? It's purely mathematical paper, okay? So, no human analogy, no politics, no ideology, just pure mathematics. Uh, mathematics is nothing but a language, okay? So, mathematicians, they're not geniuses. I'm not a genius. Musicians, music. It's just another language. It's just like foreign language. You learn it, you get used to it. Musicians, they are not geniuses. No, they are not. <laughs> they just learn the language of music. Mathematics, likewise. It's just foreign language, okay? It's something you just get used to as you use it, learn it. There's nothing special of mathematics or music, okay? So it's just... Some exotic language that some people learn and practice. Okay. I mean, when you learn foreign language, right? I'm learning Russian every now and then, okay? I'm like, wow, how do you speak this language? Like, five year old, when I was learning Spanish, five year old boy in Mexico speak better Spanish than I did. I do. And I was like, wow, how do you speak this very difficult to learn language, like Russian, Spanish, whatever language, okay. I mean, they are not geniuses. They are five-year-old boy, five-year-old girl, in any, anywhere in the world. Foreign language is very difficult to learn, right? Music, mathematics is the same way. You know? 
Yeah, it's difficult to learn at first, but you get used to it. Yeah. I struggled with mathematics when I was in elementary school, middle school. Yeah, but once I got hang of it, I start to enjoy it. So, absorption rule. Absorption rule. Okay, it's kind of big old notation. I want to simplify big old notation. Okay, so yeah, so that's alpha algebra right there. Okay, so example. Okay, example alpha squared plus alpha is equal to alpha squared. Alpha get absorbed by alpha squared. Okay? <coughs> it's just big old notation. Simple. I want to help people out. Okay, big old notation is kind of bulky. Okay, so let's come up with a brand new algebra, alpha algebra, you know, to help people out so that uh, to make their lives easier. Okay, so. <laughs> Hmm? As example, yeah. Alpha plus log natural ln alpha is equal to alpha. Okay. Yeah, it's like Lopita's rule. Okay, yeah, you plug it in and you differentiate, blah, blah, blah. Upstairs, downstairs. Okay, you go to infinity, right? Yeah. <coughs> Mm -hmm. What if they converge? Uh, then, uh, for example, alpha plus two alpha, there's no absorption. Okay, because alpha divided by two alpha, it converts to like one and a half, right? Oops. Yeah. I need to do one more. Okay. By the way, this becomes three alpha. Okay. Yeah, there's no observation rule and. Uh, uh, one more rule, okay? We put it right here, insert it right here, okay? This part. Thank you for having helping me out, okay? Because this brainstorming area, so uh <sighs> <sighs> Okay. So absorption rule only applies when um, this fx over gx go to infinity or zero. 
If we convert this to num some number between 0 and 1, or 1, or some big positive number, more than, more than 1, then uh, you just add them up. Okay? No absorption rule there. But absorption rule only applies when uh, 0 and infinity situation. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm going to write tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, let's take five minutes break, okay? Uh, I put it up right here so that if you want to think about it, <laughs> and I also take a picture and yeah. <sighs> okay, five minutes, please. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. So, like, uh, just one more thing, okay? Something very small. <sighs> I, don't, I don't have that much room here. <sighs> oh! I'm squeezing in. <sighs> so, this mathematics paper, like, the theory of infinity, infinity theory, like alpha algebra, okay? Yeah, it's like this, okay? So. Additive set theory, additive number theory, okay. Surprisingly, it was originally developed by uh, Mr. Minkowski. I'm not a huge fan of that man, okay. Because he sided with Albert Einstein in special relativity, which is fourth theory, okay. But he made some contribution, okay. Nobody's perfect. Everyone has good and bad. Even Albert Einstein has good and bad, okay. But he was wrong, and they were wrong, yeah. Hilbert, Poincaré, Albert Einstein, all these big mathematicians, they're all wrong, okay? Special general relativity, okay? <clears throat> Paul Dirac, he was wrong too, okay? So, those mainstream mathematicians, okay? They're all wrong, okay? Special general relativity. Yeah, groupthink, right? Yeah, whatever. So, anyway, so N, Natural number minus natural number say minus one is equal to uh, it's like no negative integers, huh? Zero plus, okay. Yeah. And so the size of the set of zero plus is same as the size of the natural number set okay yeah uh, it's just shifting of window by one okay so yeah doesn't make does not even make a dent okay by absorption rule like alpha plus one is equal to alpha. Okay, that's alpha algebra. It's a brand new kind of algebra, okay? So oh. let's write it down, okay? So that's the kind of motivation of this absorption rule, right? Yeah. Am I talking gibberish? <laughs> yeah. Mathematical joke, okay, that we came up with a long time ago, a couple of years ago. Yeah, algebra, the gibberish. <laughs> Let's take another picture and we'll. Put this behind us, okay? So we did enough service to mathematics for tonight. So okay. Yeah, post on social media to let kind of generous people like you know what I'm up to in my spare time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, well, in my spare time, like, I was like, uh, looking at the Some biographies of these mathematicians, like uh, many different ones, but in my spare time, like when I was taking a break, yeah, like 
Evarist Galua. Evarist Galua of uh, France. He passed away when he was 20 years old. Okay. Yeah. Very bright young man. We are very sorry he passed away so young. And another one of Norway, Norway, Norwegian mathematician, Abel. What's his first name? I think it's a Niels Henrik Abel. Yeah, those two young men, yeah, he passed away at something like he, when he was like 25. Okay. Yeah, they created group theories independently. They didn't know each other. Okay, so uh, they passed away very young in their early 20s, mid 20s, and they created group theories, group theory independently. They didn't know each other. Okay, so in the uh, 1800s. Okay, and uh, Older mathematicians in their days, yeah, you have Cauchy, Jacobi, Fourier, right? Even Gauss, they were all alive when Galois and Abel were in their twenties. Okay, yeah, they didn't quite think much of those two young mathematicians. Okay. But both of them, Abel and Galois, uh, independently proved that yeah, there's no generic algebraic solution for polynomials of uh, fifth degree, fifth fifth order or higher. Okay, independently they proved that. Okay, so. That's been bugging mathematicians for 200, 300 years, okay? <laughs> I mean, Cauchy, Gauss, Fourier, they couldn't solve that problem, but the young, two young mathematicians, they solved it independently, both of them, in their 20s. People couldn't believe it. They're like teenagers, they're early 20s. They solved this 200, 300 mathematical unsolved problem when their seniors in their 60s, 70s, like Gauss, Cauchy, Fourier, Jacobi, they couldn't solve their problem. But these two young boys, kids in their teens and 20s, they solved it. They could not believe it. Okay. And they used their own theory. Yeah, group theory. Because there was not enough mathematical tool in existence. They had to develop their own tool, group theory, uh, to tackle their problem. 200, 300 year old problem. Okay. And they did it. Before they passed away in their 20s. Okay. So it's a big chapter in mathematics history, okay? Abel and Galois, okay? Yeah. How about me? My mathematics is very short and very shallow. Okay. Yeah. Group theory, I don't know too much about it, okay? I just know a little. My mathematics, my physics, Flimsy, shallow, very light weight, soft core. <laughs> but I know enough mathematics and physics to disprove Dirac theta function, which is included in this paper I'm writing. And I was able to disprove Albert Einstein's special and general relativity theories. That one's already published in Vixra, okay. Yeah, this mathematics paper I published in Vixra, okay. Why? They're like pure science mathematics, 
online database. Okay, so yeah. When? I think it will take a week. This uh, yeah, today is Wednesday, right? By Sunday, yeah, this paper will be done. Okay, if you are like twenty pages, about less than that. Okay, so it's short and sweet. Uh, yeah, publish on Vixera.com. I give them some donation money because they are small log then. Social research science research network, they are big. Okay, so uh, yeah, so but Vixera is very small online database. So yeah, I, I want to help them out. So I. Give them donation, okay. 20 bucks, okay, each time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me do some social media, okay. Yeah, and some vocal rest, so.
Okay. Hmm, well...
Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> some social media here. Oh, well. Yeah. Sometimes I make mistakes just like everybody else in social media, right? Yeah. Whatever. Okay, sure. Okay. Uh, we take five minutes break. Okay, it's like Right now it's like 10 o'clock, so we have to wrap it up real soon, okay? So, because today is only Wednesday, tomorrow is Thursday, kind of midweek. Yeah, happy hump day, Wednesday, like in the middle, right? Yeah, like this camel's hump, hump back. Yeah, happy Wednesday, and uh, tomorrow is Thursday, I have to get back to work tomorrow, so, uh, like, it's right now 10 o'clock, and... I'm not hungry. Maybe I eat some snack. I don't know. Yeah. Then uh, I gotta get back to work tomorrow. Okay, so we take five minutes break and we we'll wrap it up real soon. Okay. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, five minutes, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh
Okay. We read for us, okay? So, uh, I love white, I love blacks, and I love brown. I'm brown, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I love all skin color, okay, blacks, browns, and whatever, okay, so some people think I'm racist, I'm not, okay, I love blacks, browns, whites, okay, uh, but I do advocate for, I love mixed races, Hispanics, natives, all of them, okay, but 95% of the time, I advocate for same race marriage, okay, if you are young enough to have children, okay. So I want to preserve purely black people, purely white people, purely brown people, okay? Yeah, racial diversity, okay? So that's not racism. Racism is hatred of, hatred of race. I love diversity of races. That's why I advocate for 95% of the time, yeah, same race marriage if they are young enough to have children, okay? 5% exception recognized, okay? This is so different, okay? That's what's good about education about mathematics, minute difference, to be more sensitive about things. Uh, yeah, education about musical instruments. Yeah, you play guitar, yeah, I try to learn you, the fingering, they're very small differences, okay? And when you learn about, learn about foreign languages, yeah, the pronunciation and spelling, they're minute, slight differences. They say devil is in the details. I say God is in the details too. Okay. Yeah. So education make you more sensitive and very... You can tell the differentiation between those small things. Okay. Very important. Okay. I Some people say I'm homophobic, transphobic. But in the Idealist paper, yeah, I wrote it. Okay. I don't hate gay people. I love gay people. I just hate LGBT ideology. People and ideology, they are two different things. Okay? Subtle difference, but very important difference. Okay? So. Okay? Yeah. So that's it for tonight. Thank you. God bless you. Happy New Year. God bless you for generous to come. Happy New Year to you, your family, your friends. Okay? Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Mm. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.